Passive House is a building standard developed in Germany originally. Passive House attempted to be more energy efficient than a standard new build home. The Institute of Passive House uh, in Darmstadt, Germany has set out requirements for a building to be certificated as a passive house. These include to not exceed 15 kilowatt hours per square meter in energy per year. An air tightness uh, requirement is that a maximum of 0.6 air changes per hour at 50 pascals of pressure. And finally, thermal comfort must be met for all living areas during winter as well as summer. Therefore, less than 10% of all hours can be above 25 degrees Celsius in a year. Uh, here's an architectural drawing of a passive house. Um, it shows thicker walls and thicker insulation. Uh, also an open plan style to uh, increase airflow and have better um, insulation and uh, heat distribution. And this uh, shows um, that there how this uh, the air tightness works as well as well as windows in a passive house this is important because Sorez Sorez et al claims that 31 percent of all energy produced in the world goes to buildings for uh, for electricity and heating and passive houses use 40 percent less uh, are 40 percent more efficient Shazadez and Guy claim in 2016 70 percent of the UK's housing stock that will exist in 2050 has already been built. Most housing that is built isn't as efficient in theory. So they were researching how effective retrofitting passive houses would be, comparing them to purpose-built passive houses on regular build, new, uh, build homes. They found that the houses were more efficient, so they were using less carbon overall, but they weren't quite to the standards which they needed to be at, to be a passive house. They also found that the airflow was quite high in the homes and that there was issues with uh, mould. Uh, this meant that this means that sometimes it can be seen as a bit difficult to um, retrofit these homes. Uh, there were some issues with the research though. One was being that it was all done in Canada and uh, each nation has a different set of standards for a passive house. and. Uh, it, this is not Canada, but this is the French regulations. So each zone has different regulations um, for being a passive house, and then different altitudes have got different um, requirements as well. The, this means it's quite difficult to compare um, passive houses around the world because they are built to different standards. In addition, the sample size was quite small and um, the study could have gone further with uh, trying to compare um, com uh, compare it and get to new builds in different climate zones. There's been an argument made by McLeod uh, in 2012 that social housing should be uh, made to the passive house standard. The argument is that people that live in social housing tend to be less able to afford the, uh, the fuel to heat their homes. Uh, the tap, they made a case study on Blind Al Gwent in Wales where 43% of the uh, population were in fuel po poverty in 2008. An issue with the assumption McLeod et al have made is the willingness of local authorities to build to the passive house um, regulations because the cost uh, for these um, for a passive house is about £15,000 more uh, on construction compared to a normal house. And this is via the Passive House Institute. Uh, local authorities will be more likely to build to a cheaper stand, uh, standard rather than uh, building a more uh, building a more efficient home. Uh, Dalstrom et al claims that passive houses also have only got a 50 year, a year lifespan, which means that they will need to be retrofitted like um, other, ha uh, other normal build houses. And one more issue that was highlighted in Dequire's work in 2012 is that passive houses may be more efficient, but they don't tend to generate their own power. Having ground source heat pumps and or uh, solar panels to uh, heat water and, or to generate electricity would mean that they were net contributors to the grid rather than um, polluters. So to conclude, passive houses being 40% more energy efficient the regular homes does mean that they can lower carbon emissions. However, the higher cost uh, compared to new bills means that lower income people are less likely to buy them and there are issues with how they generate their power. Okay, thank you for listening.